Uh, this shows you uh, how I uh, install a second hard drive with a clean operating system, uh, Windows Vista. This is a Dell Dimension E521. Um, I just uh, bought a new 500 gig for forty dollars, and basically you just plug in all the cables. Uh, the cable that I have of was uh, not uh, suitable uh, because it couldn't. I couldn't close the cover after I installed it, so I had to use a short cable, and I just uh, I just have to you know plug in one of the uh, hard drive uh, controller um, receptacle, and then uh, you have to go into I think F2 to uh, select the boot sequence so you can install your uh, Vista uh, onto the new hard drive. Um, you know, you go into select your whatever drive you want to put it up to, and then uh, you save it, and then uh, you put in your Windows uh, restoration disk, and you boot up on uh, on that uh, on that drive. So your installation program comes up, and you just follow the instruction. Basically, because it's a new hard drive, you have to uh, format it. You have to select that drive and format it, and then just follow the instructions, and um, and you will have a new hard drive. And this will allow you to have like a dual boot situation, so you can boot uh, either from your first hard drive or from your second hard drive. So in my case, this uh, first selection is the new hard drive, and uh, I also uh, reconfigure it a little bit. Uh, you go into MS Config, and then you select Boot, and you uh, select a dual processor and maximum memory. Um, of course, you have to have a dual processor computer. That's what uh, my son has, so I, uh, you know configure it that way. Let me restart.